In the criminal justice system, railway-based offences are considered especially serious. On the island of Sodor, the dedicated detectives who investigate these troublesome felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Railway Inspectors Unit. These are their stories. Hello, Boko. I wasn't expecting you to bring in the Flying Kipper. I wasn't expecting to either. But Henry was unavailable, so I volunteered to take it for him. Unavailable? Look, I know they forecast rain, but that's no reason for him to hide in the tunnel again. Now, now, Stan. You know how sensitive Henry is about that. Yeah, that's why I said it. Ah, you're wicked. <laughs> I know. All right. Let's get this fish unloaded and... What was that? It sounded like an accident. I better go take a look. Bust my buffers. Evening, Joey. I hope I didn't interrupt anything. Only a House of Cards marathon. But that'll still be on my Netflix tomorrow. Good to hear. You've brought company, I see. Yep. Mickey, this is my new partner, Stepney. Stepney? As in the Bluebell engine? Yep, that's me. What brings you to the crime-fighting side of life? I need something more stimulating than carrying tourists through fields of pretty flowers. Now that's the kind of gumption sorely lacking in today's youth. Too right. But let's get down to business. What have we got? Victim is a non-faceless ballast truck named Scruffy. A loudmouth and a rabble rouser. He had no shortage of enemies. Are we sure this wasn't an accident? I mean, he doesn't exactly look like he's in top condition. Could he have just fallen apart? Yes, that is possible. However, take a look at his buffers. What do you see? They're bent. So, something hit him. Hard. He was bumped. That would be my guess. Ugh, what a way to go. Bumped to pieces. Indeed. Although, it's probably a miracle he hadn't gone sooner, to be honest. Rotten wood, rusty frames. Maybe if he hadn't had so much wrong with him, he'd have earned himself a better name. Alright, thanks for your help. Phew, good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. You're not making yourself any less of a suspect, duck. Beg pardon, Inspector. It's just, he truly was a lowlife. And I guarantee, no one is going to miss him. Can you account for your whereabouts last night between 11 and 1? I was stuck at the coal mine. A points failure. All right, you can go. Notwithstanding my attitude, Inspector, to bump a truck to pieces just isn't right. It's not the Great Western way. <sighs> How did I know he was going to say that? How did you get on? Ugh. Six hours of interviewing the trucks and I've gotten vastly different opinions. Such as, he was a great bloke, he was a mongrel. He had a terrific sense of humour. He was a complete bore. I don't know whether to feel sorry for our victim or not. The courts are the ones who pass judgment, Stepney, not the police. At any rate, what's our next move? Seeing as how we are on the Little Western, this branch has only a few engines with the strength to inflict the kind of damage our victim had. One of whom has a history of destroying rolling stock. Really? Who? Are you serious? I accidentally smash up one spiteful brake van, and that makes me your prime suspect? It's nothing personal, Douglas. Feels blooming personal to me. If you can just account for your whereabouts last night, we'll leave you be. 
I was taking the midnight goods train to a faraway part of the island. Could you be more specific, please? Vickerstown! That's specific enough for you? Right. We'll check it out. Keep yourself available, Douglas. Ah, fine. Honestly, you coppers always go for the blackfellas first. Well, Douglas's alibi checks out, so we've lost our prime suspect. As tends to be the case in most crime-fighting shows, what do we do now, then? We wait for the conveniently timed phone call that results in a major break for the case. This is Joey. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, great. Be right there. That was Mickey. He found a witness. Okay. But first, where'd you get that phone from? eBay. And how are you using it? Magic. Anything else? No. Then let's get a move on. Okay, Toad. Tell Joey what you told me. I don't feel right about this, Mr. Mickey. I mean, after all we've been through, this feels like such a betrayal. You know who smashed up Scruffy? Yes, sir. Do you want this engine to do it again? No, sir. Then tell us who it is so we can stop him from hurting himself or anyone else. <sighs> it was Mr. Oliver, sir. Why? Scruffy led the trucks in a derogatory song about Mr. Oliver yesterday at Callan Yard. He took it so hard. And... And I suggested maybe he should bump him to stop his nonsense. You did? I didn't think he'd do it so roughly. I swear. Ugh. But I feel just as responsible. You did the right thing, Toad. Don't ever think otherwise. I put out an APB the moment Toad gave me a statement. Oliver's been spotted at Marston Heights. All right, let's roll. Attention, Oliver of the Little Western. Remain where you are. You are wanted for questioning. Oh no, I'm out of here. Bother! I can't get through! Floor it, Stepney! I'm on it! Simon, I need you to dash over to the signal box. What for? I need you to get on the horn to the signal box at Henry's Forest. I have an idea. Bother! Give it up, Oliver. There's no place for you to go. Scruffy got what he deserved. Sounds like a confession to me. Me too. You're going away for a good long time. And that's another day of justice carried out in our little corner of the world. Well done, Stepney. You did brilliantly. Thank you, Joey. I wonder who Oliver will be bunking with. <sighs> what are you in for? For being the villain in a really bad movie? You? For trusting the wrong people. What about you? Oi, I'm talking to you, Fritz. Don't waste your breath. He doesn't talk. Why not? Well, as Victor is so fond of saying, that's a story for another day. ha 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 ha.